In this video, we're going to talk about regular languages, which are used to specify the lexical structure of programming languages. To briefly review, the lexical structure of a programming language is a set of token classes, and each one of the token classes consists of some set of strings. Now, we need a way to specify which set of strings belongs to each token class, and the usual tool for doing that is to use regular languages. So in this video, we're going to uh, present like regular languages and define what they are. Uh, and then in subsequent videos, we're going to look at some examples of uh, using them in actual programming languages. To define the regular languages, we generally use something called regular expressions. And each regular expression denotes a set. There are two basic regular expressions. If I write the single character C, that's an expression, and what it denotes is a language containing one string, which is uh, the single character C. Okay? That's one basic form. So for any single character, I get a language with a, uh, a one string language with just, and then the only string is that character. Another basic uh, building block of regular uh, languages is the regular expression epsilon, which is the language that contains, again, just a single string, this time the empty string. And one thing that's important uh, to keep in mind is that epsilon is not the empty language. Okay, so this does not correspond to the empty st string, and the empty set of strings. Uh, it is a language that has a single string, namely the empty string. Besides the two base regular expressions, there are three compound regular expressions. And we'll just go through them here in order. The first is A plus B, uh, which corresponds to the union of the languages A and B. So this would be the set A such that A is in the language of big A, little a is in the language of big A, union uh, little b such that B is in the language of little b. So just the union of the two sets of strings. Concatenation is like string concatenation. So if I have two languages A and B, or two regular expressions A and B, then the uh, concatenation of A and B uh, is equal to all the strings little a uh, concatenated with little b, where a is drawn from the language uh, big A, and little b is drawn from the language big B. And so this is a cross product operation. Choose a string from A, uh, choose a string from capital B, and then combine, uh, put them together with a, a string from A first, and, and choose these strings in all possible ways, form all possible uh, combined strings, and that's the language A concatenated with B. And finally, uh, there's a kind of looping construct. Uh, this is pronounced A star, or it's called the Kleene iteration, and, or the Kleene closure. And A star is equal to the union uh, for I greater than or equal to zero, of a to the i, a to the ith power. And what's that mean? Uh, well, a to the ith power is just a concatenated with itself i times. So this is a to the i. And note that because i can be equal to zero, one of the possibilities here is a to the zero. So a concatenated with itself zero times. And what is that? Well, that's the language epsilon. So that's the language containing the empty string. So the empty string is always an element of A star. To summarize the last couple of slides, uh, the regular expressions over some alphabet sigma are the smallest set of expressions that include the following. So let's define it. So the regular expressions R are equal to uh, epsilon is always a regular expression. Or another possibility is the single character C where C is an element of our alphabet. Okay, so this is important. Uh, the regular expressions are defined with respect to some alphabet. So we have to pick a family of characters uh, that will form the base cases of the regular expression. And here, you know, we have one uh, base regular expression for each character in the alphabet. And then we have the compound expression. So another possibility is that uh, a regular expression is the union of two regular expressions Another one is that the concatenation of two regular expressions. And the last one is that it could be the iteration of a regular expression. So these five cases uh, are the set of regular expressions over 
a given alphabet. Now this syntax here for describing uh, the regular expressions with these vertical bars and uh, these different cases on the uh, right hand side in this recursive definition of R, uh, if you haven't seen this before, this is called a grammar. And that's not important for this lecture, it's not what this, uh, this, this lecture is about, but we'll be talking about grammars uh, when we get to parsing. Next I'd like to do a few examples of actually building regular languages, writing them out and, and thinking about what they mean. And as we said, whenever we're talking about a regular language, we first have to say what the alphabet is. And so for these examples, let's just use the alphabet uh, zero and one. So these are going to be languages uh, which consist of strings of zeros and ones. And let's start with a very simple example. Let's think about the language um, one star and what uh, language that denotes. So, uh, well, we, are, we know the definition of star. If we remember, that was uh, the union over i greater than or equal to zero of one to the i, okay? And what is that equal to? Well, that's just uh, one repeated i times. That's what the concatenation of one, uh, one to the i means, okay? It means I, one concatenated with itself i times. And so uh, this is going to be um, uh, the empty string, that's one concatenated with itself zero times, followed by one, followed by one one, followed by one concatenated with itself three times, followed by one concatenated with itself four times, followed by one concatenated with itself any number of times. Okay, and this, and so we can see that this is just equal to all strings of ones. All right, now let's do a second example. Uh, let's think about um, the language uh, one plus zero uh, concatenated with the language uh, one, okay? And uh, remember uh, how concatenation works, it's a cross product, so we take every string in the first expression and combine it with every string in the second expression. So this is going to be equal to uh, the strings um, a, b, where a is drawn from one plus zero, and b is drawn from one. All right, and what can that be? Well, there's two choices for a. A could be one or zero, and b could be one. So in fact, this is equal to the set uh, one, one, and the strings one, one, the second thing in the strings one, one, and one, zero. All right. Let's do another example. Well, it's uh, slightly more complex. Let's build up here to having two iterations in a union. So we'll have zero star plus one star. And think about what that's equal to. Well, we already know what one star is equal to. That's equal to all strings of ones. And so by analogy, zero star must be all strings of zeros. And then we take the union of those two things. So this is actually really easy to write out. Um, let's write them out in this notation. So we have zero to the i. Uh, for i greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so that's zero star union with one to the i for i greater than or equal to zero. That's the strings of all one. So there's the set that this expression denotes. And for our last example, let's think about uh, zero plus one. Now, that iterated. Okay, so uh, we put the star around uh, the union of the two individual characters instead of having uh, the star on each character individually and taking the union of the two things. So what is the, what is this expression equal to? Well, uh, let's work with the definition of star. So we know uh, that this is uh, the union over i greater than or equal to zero of zero plus one uh, to the i. And what does that look like? Well, that looks like, uh, first of all, there's the empty string, right? And then another string in this language is, um, uh, is, excuse me, is drawn from um, zero plus one. And uh, so, sorry, I shouldn't say another string, but another set of strings is from the language zero plus one. And then zero plus one uh, concatenated with itself, okay? And in general, it's going to be uh, zero plus one concatenated with itself i times. Okay, well, what does that mean? That means that at every position, if we have a string of length i, at every position we can pick 
a zero or a one uh, to plug in. And this is, works for any length string. This is going to be true of strings of every length. And so in fact, this language is just going to be all strings of zeros and ones. And in fact, what that means is it's the set, if we look back at our alphabet, our alphabet only consists of zero and one. And so this is the set of all strings that you can form over the entire alphabet. And that has a special name when that happens, when you have a regular expression that uh, denotes the set of all strings you can form out of the alphabet, we write that as sigma star. Okay, so just meaning you know, all the strings of the alphabet iterated as many times as you like. Uh, one last point I want to make uh, on this uh, before we go on here is that there are actually lots of ways to write each of these different languages. There's not a unique way uh, to write these. So for example, let's just take this language here, the second one that we did, and let me switch colors. Uh, another alternative way to write this, since we know the meaning of it is these two strings, one, one, and one, zero, is I could have written it as one, one plus one, zero. And that would mean exactly the same thing. These two expressions ha denote exactly the same set. Similarly with one star, I could write this as one star plus one. Because uh, this wouldn't change anything. Adding in the single string one wouldn't change anything since uh, one is already included in one star. This might be kind of a silly way to write uh, that set, but it, it doesn't matter. It has a meaning and it means exactly the same thing as one star. And the point again is that there's more than one way to write down the same set. Um, uh, the right to write, uh, uh, you can write multiple regular expressions that denote the same set. Well, we've come to the end of this video, and to summarize, we looked at regular expressions, uh, which are used to define regular languages. And the regular expressions are syntax, that's the uh, expression that we write down, and it denotes a set of strings, which is the regular language, and that's, that's the meaning of the regular expression. And there are five kinds of regular expressions in the standard definition. Uh, there's an expression for the empty string, uh, and that's denoted by epsilon, and then we have all the one character strings. And then there are three comp compound expressions, ways of building reg new regular expressions from other regular expressions, and these are union, concatenation, and iteration.